sons walked not in his ways, but turned aside after lucre or after money and took bribes and perverted judgments. Then all the elders of, Ga of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel unto Ramah and said unto him, Behold, you are old and your sons walk not in your ways. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. But the thing displeased Samuel when they said, Give us a king to judge us. And Samuel prayed unto the Lord. And the Lord said unto Samuel, Hearken unto them, unto the voice of the people, and all that they say unto you. For they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me, that I should not reign over them. According to all the works which they have done since the day that I brought them up out of Egypt, even unto this day, wherewith they have forsaken me and serve other gods, so do they also unto you. Now therefore hearken unto their voice, howbeit yet protest solemnly unto them, and show them the manner of the king that shall reign over them. And Samuel told all the words of the Lord unto the people who asked of him a king. Verse 11. And he said, this will be the manner of the king who shall reign over you. He will take your sons and appoint them for himself and for his chariots and to be his horsemen. And some shall run before his chariots. And he will appoint him captains over thousand, captains over fifties, and will set them to ear his ground. And to reap his harvest and to make his instruments of war and instruments of his chariots. And he will take your daughters to be confectionaries and to be cooks and to be bakers. And he will take your fields and your vineyards and your olive yards, even the best of them, and give them to his servants. And he will take the tenth of your seed and of your vineyards and give to his officers and to his servants and he will take your men servants and your maid servants and your godliest young men and your asses and put them to his work and he will take the temp of your sheep and you shall be his servants and you shall cry out in that day because of your king which you shall have chosen you and the Lord will not hear you in that day nevertheless the people refuse to obey the voice of Samuel. And they say, no, but we will have a king over us. That we also may be like all the nations. Then that our king may judge us and go out before us and fight our battles. And Samuel heard all the words of the people and he rehearsed them in the ears of the Lord. And the Lord said to Samuel, hearken unto their voice. And make them a king. And Samuel said unto the men of Israel, Go ye, every man, into his city. Heavenly Father, we pray that your word will be to us. Given directly under the anointing that you have predestined it to be. Lord, let it have its way in our lives. Let it do a work. Let it minister the grace. Let it transform us and, and reveal to us and impart to us the life that your people need. In Jesus' name, oh God. Use the preacher. We thank you, Lord. Amen, amen. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Today's title is, How you doing or how's your doings i don't know which one is the proper way steve is our bulletin corrector hey man he don't like the words amen so the question is i don't know which title is best but how you doing oh how's your doings like god or like the world like god or like the world let, let, let's talk Little boy, I, uh, I, sp I sp stopped uh, at the house of Brother Blanco to pick him up to come to church this morning. And the little boy comes out to say hello to me. And he's so cute. I mean, he's just so perfect. And he just, you know, just share me with some love. Uh, and, and he has his shirt buttoned in an awkward manner. He put the middle button up here. And, and then so, so the rest of the buttons did not align right. 
<laughs> and it's funny and cute and whatnot, but and when it comes to us, when we put the things of God in an awkward manner, everything else falls apart. Not that you look cute, you look foolish. Hello. And you have some problems. And I pray that I help you out this morning. Somebody say, help us, Pastor. Help us, help us. I felt like bringing you, uh, the whole church, into my office and, and have a transparent heart-to-heart -heart, uh, 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 with all of you about victorious living, you know? But we didn't all fit. Amen. <laughs> so I kind of brought my office out to you. I, I, I want to ask you, since we haven't had any heart-to-hearts lately, how you doing? How, how are your doings? How are your doings? Are they like God or, or, or the world? Are they like God or the world? What you doing? You see, as the biblical text or reference point we, we look to uh, this morning in the book of 1 Samuel, uh, at the beginning of 1 Samuel, the, the, the nation of Israel was uh, at a religious low point. You know, there are high points in religion or your walk, and there's low point. They were at the low point. And chapter 8 addresses uh, uh, an attitude that may be involved in, in this down the spiral down or, or the downfall in, 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 in our lives if dealt, not dealt with efficaciously. Maybe we're going to be messed up. How are your doings? First Samuel 8, 1 Samuel 8.1. I want to take some, 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 some insights that, that will change our life if, if, we, if we dare. Somebody tell your neighbor, you dare? You're there this morning to, to, to make change. I come to church this morning with a desire to change. Amen. I said, Lord, I want to be better. Lord, I want to be gooder. I know it's not proper English, but I, I want to be gooder. I want to have more, God. I want, I, I want to do the God. I want to experience the God. I want to, I want to love the God. I want to have the God. I want. And we look at the, the, the first verse of chapter 8. I'm just going to go through it. It says, And it came to pass when Samuel was old that he made his sons judges over Israel. Are you with me, Isis? I want you to learn this, Isis. I, want, I, I know you're talking. But you shouldn't be talking with pastors talking. That's just rude. Amen. Hallelujah. Hear the word of the Lord for your life since you didn't come on Wednesday. And then call. Amen. I got that. I'm waiting for her. To, I haven't had a talk to her. Amen. Glory to God. Brother Blanco said, get her. Listen to me. Prayer. How's your prayer doing lately? Huh? Samuel was probably anywhere from 60 to 7 years old. And as godly as Samuel was, the text revealed that the fact that he wasn't perfect. Amen? There's no hint. That he asked the Lord concerning the placing of his sons in positions of authority. He didn't pray about it, I guess. He just did what he did. How's your prayer life doings? Are you still adamant about praying about everything? Remember, you used to pray about everything when you were young. Now that you're old, hmm? are you adamant about praying about everything? I used to pray about getting a haircut. They might tear up your head. You know what I'm talking about. Are you? Are, are, are you? Are you still huh, persevering in prayer? Waiting in prayer. Waiting until uh, uh, you feel God's peace about it. Yes. Praying uh, for confirmation. Do you remember you used to do that? Yes. Mm, before you made a decision or made an appointment. or made... Mm. Are you still warfaring in prayer? Praying and praying and praying all night long. Are you praying through in temptations? 
Are you praying to know God's will and decision making? Are you, are you praying for the changing, submitting, and surrendering of your will? So we declare, if this cup cannot pass from me, I will be done. Can I ask you, please, please, hear the preacher's heart. Don't go prayerless. Don't go unprayed. Disprayed. Non-prayed, whatever. Don't go the world's way. Don't go the world's way. Don't go the world's way. The world does it without prayer. Let me go forward and, and, and then come back. I don't want to lose the, 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 the climax of the movie. Good preacher will keep you there until he gives you to that place. Right, Brother Keith? And then he'll give it to you. But I got to give it to you. So, so just in case you don't get anything, I'm going to get this. The sin of the people of God is that they wanted to do it the world's way. In this text, they want to be just like the world. Don't look at anybody. Just keep looking straight. And that's where we miss it, where we find ourselves doing it the world's way, doing it our way, not doing it God's way. Amen. And that's what got us in trouble in the first place. Yes. Amen. They went prayerless. Amen. Don't go prayerless. Pray, pray, and after you pray, pray some more. And if you're like me, I pray about praying. The who, what, where, how you will have me to pray, Lord. If he didn't pray, most likely he didn't worship. Amen? Amen. Where prayer is wanting, where prayer is waning, where prayer is whimsical, worship may be affected, may be apostate, <laughs> may be absent, may be abandoned. Worship. I declare that worship is to be assimilated. It's to be attended. It, it is apropos. Worship must be the app that you should download into your lives. How you doing? How's your doings lately? How's your worship? How's your worship? Are, are you still believing that, that uh, as we know that, 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 that if we worship God, the spirit of God abides in the worship of his people? And you might not have anything else, but you can get your worship on. You can get your praise on. You can lift up the name of Jesus. You cannot, he will show up and show out and show off. He will do something in and through and for you when you will worship. Yeah. If you can just start praising him. Are you doing it without worship? How's your doings? How's your worship lately? Hallelujah. Rebashuto rebaka. Hallelujah. My God. My God. It's a worshipless <laughs> existence to a lot of people. How you doing? How's your worship? I haven't seen your worship lately. You've been out this week, last week. You, you, you showed up, but then you missed three weeks before that. And, and then you took a month off before that. And, and your people came from Puerto Rico before that. And, they, and you had to take mom to the, hey! How's your worship? Worship God's people know the victory in worship. God's people don't go without worship. Our people must worship. There's a, I got to worship. Hallelujah. There's a burning in my eye. I can't live without worship in the name of Jesus. Hey. How you doing? How you doing? Because the world doesn't worship God. Only Christians worship God. Those that are spiritually enlightened. Those that have been born again. They say I must. I got to worship him. He's been too good to me without me. I got to do something. If I don't got the glory to be able to worship him, I'll worship at least, a, uh, at least I'll lift up at least a finger. Hallelujah. Marvelous is the Lord. I give, uh, you know the nod? Give the Lord at least a, a nod. Hey! 
How you doing? How you doing? The Bible says, and it came to pass that when he was old, he made his sons judges over Israel. He appointed, he made his sons judges. How are you serving? How's your servant ministry? How's your servant's heart? He was 60 to 7 years old, 70 years old. He was prophet. He was priest. He was judge. He was a good man of God. As he grew older, you know, some changes occurred or, or situations arose. Quite opposite from when he was young, you know what I mean? When he was a new convert. <laughs> like us, when we're new baby Christians, we just excited to serve the Lord. We're like, yes, glory, I, I got to serve the Lord because he saved me, he delivered me, he healed me, he brought me out of jail, he brought me out of the sick room, he brought me from the ghetto, he put my, my feet, out, he brought it out of the miry clay and put my feet on the solid rock to stay. I got to serve him. Samuel was serving. Samuel was dedicated to God by his parents. He was adopted into the family of God. He was taken into the priesthood. He's serving God with zeal when he met God, not knowing him, not knowing God, when, when, but he was still, oh, we were still, we, we, we didn't know him, but we were still excited to serve him. You remember that? Amen. Remember your doings? You didn't really know God too much. You just know that he saved you, that you got born again, whatever that meant. It was something that happened in you, huh? And, 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 and you start serving him and you didn't really know him and, and that's how Samuel was a little child and he was serving he didn't even know until one day God showed up Samuel 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 in the middle of the night the Lord calls he calls you and me too he was serving day or night at all hours he served any ministry every ministry I'm the man serving in holiness uh, serving in non-conforming. Uh, he was being God's prophet to Eli. Hello, now that's scary. Being the prophet to the priests. Whoo, that's scary. I don't know about you, but when, I, when it's pastor so-and-so, Dr. Reverend Bishop, well, you know who, I, 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 I don't even know how to talk to him. He was God's prophet to the high priest. <laughs> Ooh, to the priest, to the big dog of the church. Amen. The elder, the Sunday school teacher. Hello. Ooh. You know, you can't teach teachers anything. They know it all. Well, Eddie, why are you looking at my boy? Don't even look that way. That Eddie's bad. Amen. Are you, are you appointing what God will have you appoint? Or are you bored? Are you bored? See, my, my, my boy Sammy was with me the other day, and we were working out here, and they gave us a leaf blower that didn't work. And he said, put it over there. So when I'm bored, I'll, I'll look into it. I declared to him, hey, if anyone hears you, they won't believe you because Pastor Ramos works his people to death. Amen. 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 There ain't no days off. They ain't no on board. How are your doings lately? Huh? Are you, are, are you serving the Lord? When was the last time you served the Lord? When was the last time you served someone? When was the last time it cost you to go out your way to serve somebody? Somebody told me this morning, Pastor, I can't take care of everybody in home. Said I said, the devil is a liar. Yes, you can. The whole city. I don't, get out there and get a high. I don't give nobody a break. And the Lord gave you breath, you better use it. Hallelujah. Can I tell you, the world only serves self. I'm going to let you just marinate out until, uh, while I get a drink of water. Only worldly people serve themselves. It's about them. It's all, uh, well, me, I got to get mine. 
Uh, if the world lives selfishly, uh, self-promoting, uh, hello, self-benefiting. Ooh, see, I, 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 see, when God gives me these sermons, I gotta sit there and I just. My wife called by and said, "What you doing?" I said, "I'm praying," but it doesn't look like you're praying. I said, "No, no, God's doing the talking right now." I'm just listening. Hallelujah! I'm just letting him, you know, bang away. I let him just, just, just tell me what time it is. I get the sermon before you, and I, and I get it real nice from him. He doesn't, he doesn't make mistakes. He doesn't repeat the same point twice. He just says it. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you, we, the church, and those that are doing it like God, we serve to serve. We serve to serve. We serve just to serve. We're not looking to get anything out of it. We're here to serve. We're here to serve the Lord. That's it. That's what my life's all about. I heard about the gentleman, I forgot his name, I'm so sorry. He was the gentleman that started Habitat for Humanity, him and his wife. Uh, they go around there and they build houses for poor people. Uh, and and, and the, the houses they build, they're not paid with any interest. They don't get paid to build houses for people. They pay whatever note has to be paid. The, the people that are getting the houses. They have gone from, from, I think it was 1965 where they first started, to now he's the number one entrepreneur that does this thing for nonprofit. And you know what his mind said? What I saw him the other day, and they were singing. They, they made a song to him. Because his number one desire is to leave this life. His goal was to change someone's life for the good. I said, that's Christianity. We're here to affect people's lives by changing them for the good. How you doing lately on that note? How you doing? <laughs> Are you saving? Are you serving? Are you... Changing people's lives for the good, no charge, gratis, pro bono, on the house. Ah, uh, I got you, shorty. Is that you? Oh, you don't know how good that feels. See, I'm selfish that way. I serve because it makes me feel good. Hey, I'm sorry. That's the, that, I mean, that's the, that's the blessing of it. Glory to God. I took care of that. We did that. We helped that. We addressed that. The Bible says that he appointed, he was serving. He appointed his sons. Can I tell you something? We are to continually be led by the Holy Spirit. Amen. In everything. In doing ministry and serving, in, in, in appointing what God would have us appoint, we cannot revert to self-rule or self-direction. Right. Have we forgotten that we were redeemed with precious blood of Jesus? Yeah. First Corinthians 3.16 said, Know you not that you are the temple of the Holy Ghost? Yeah. Spirit of God that dwells in you? Acts 17 28 says in him we live and move and have our being we are his vessels we are to be appointing stuff are we appointing stuff are we appointing family are we appointing standards remember you are supposed to be appointing God's Amen. standards not conforming to family standards. Yeah, we're, we're, we, are we still doing it God's way? Or the world's way? Because the world's ways 
or non-Christian ways or backslidden Christian ways is placing the family sinfulness above God's holy standard. Mm, 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 mm. You know how it is. When God says no about something, you say yes to baby. It's baby. It's my mom visiting from Puerto Rico. And she loved drinking rum and drinking and, and dancing the, 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 the vida loca. Huh? And so, Pastor, I, 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 I got to do it mom's way instead of God's way. Can I tell you something? The Bible says if you love your mom more than you love God. Really, Pastor? Yeah. Yeah. That's a hard word, Pastor. It ain't mine. It's Jesus. It's in red in your Bible. If you love your kids more than you love God. If you prefer them instead of preferring God. If you love your wife or your husband, baby mama or baby daddy, significant other, whatever you call it, hello. You're in trouble. That's wrong. That's sinful. It's God first and everybody else second. Hallelujah. When God says no, you say yes to baby. When God says, <laughs> go, you say, stay. When God says, go, you say, stay. Are you with me, Isis? I can't see Isis. I don't know why. I need to see the, the, the sound person. Over here. Over here. Amen. Stay right there. Amen. I, 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 I tell you. I tell you. When, sound, when God says, no. You say yes. When God says go, you tell them stay. When God say call the police, you hide them in the basement and get him cable. Huh? Huh? Christian enablers. And because of that, you got all kind of stuff invited in your life that you shouldn't even be having. Uh. He appointed his sons, which he shouldn't have. I know we said on Sunday school that, that, um, that people are appointing their kids to take over their ministries. Hmm, it's not new, Sister Marina. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible. It's, it's, it's always been done. Mm -hmm. How you doing? Are you doing it God's way? Or are you doing the world's way? You want to, are you appointing what God would have you appoint? Say, appoint them to be judges. Judges. Appointed to be judges. Can I tell you that, that, that church people are appointed to be somebody? Each and every one of us are appointed to be somebody in the, in, the, in the kingdom of God. Each and every one of us. It ain't just a pastor. I just get to talk to you and give you whatever God has me to give you. I, I, we all are appointed Amen. to be. All of us. All of us. Huh? How's your ministry? How's your ministry? The word ministry means burden. Where, where's your burden? Is it the children? Is it the elderly? Is it the homeless? Is it the immigrant? Is it the sick? Is it the incarcerated? Is it the thug, the player, the pimp, the prostitute? Huh? The liar, the conniver? The police officers? The judges? The president, the czars, the potentates? The tribal leaders? Is it the military? Is it education? Is it feeding? Is it housing? Is it water? Building wells for the needy? How's your ministry? Is it prayer? Is it fasting? Is it giving? Come on. Is it giving? Is it singles? Is it married? Is it the youth? Oh my God, the youth need. <laughs> oh, youth. Hallelujah. How's your ministry? Are you still doing God's way? Do 
Do you know? Do you, do you know that you have a mission to fulfill? You got a mission. You got a mission to fulfill. Do you care about fulfilling that mission? The world don't care two cents about the mission that God has for them. It, it just, it makes them yawn. Hey, you know you got a mission. <sighs> what do you say? Do you know, church, let me help you out. In order for you to be really blessed, you've got to be about your God-given mission. Fulfilling your God calling. Find out what it is. It ain't coming to church. Can I tell That's not your mission. I go to church. That's not your mission. They taught us that when we were going to just go to church and give you tithe and, and that's it, go about church. Are you crazy? You come to church on Sunday to celebrate what you've done in the mission field. This is a time of celebration. This is a time of preparation so that you can get better school to go and get some more mission done. This is not the mission. Putting your blessed assurances on those seats is not... Your mission. Do you know? Do you care? Do you want to know? Is it important to you? Can I tell you one thing, one sidebar quickly? Judges were appointed by God, Amen. not by their fathers. Amen. Amen. Don't allow anyone to appoint you to your mission. It's got to be a God thing with you. It's you and God, God in you. Yes. You know, Joel means the Lord is God. Abijah means my father is the Lord. Yes. Understand this, that the victory, the glory of our existence is living up to our name, though our namesakes. How you doing? You living up to the name that God gave you? Are you living up to your namesakes? Judges. Judges. You know your calling is your gift. Your calling, if your gift, if you would have been in Sunday school this morning, shame on you if you weren't. If you would have been in Sunday school this morning, you would understand that God has given gifts. A present. You are the gift he's talking about. You are the present. To us. To new hope. You are the gift that God gave to us. You ever get a lousy gift? You ever get a cheap gift? You ever get a, a missing gift? You're not too appreciative of that, right? You're like, my God. Yeah, they got this on Marshalls. It says $60, but it's really $3. Well, come on, Pastor. Hallelujah. You ever put on one of those shirts and, and the neck is like this? <laughs> like, yeah, this one of those Tommy Hill figures. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> you know that God's, God's people are present. If you really want to be blessed, you got to be present as that gift that you are to this body. You must be present. You cannot be absent. You cannot take the weekend off. You cannot go somewhere else. You cannot chill at the house. You cannot be distracted. You are the gifts. You are appointed to be. Your holy gifts should be manifested. Are you bringing your A game to church? What Holy Ghost gift you got for this body? Hmm? Yeah. Yeah. See, I should be having the, the verses up here on the whatnot, but that person took off on Wednesday. Didn't even call me. Didn't even call me. See, worldly people don't call their pastor they don't have a pastor. Hello? When you're doing it the world's way, you don't give an account to pastors. 
You just go about your business, do whatever you want. Hello? And they miss the blessing of working with pastor. Hello? You miss the blessing. Because God has a blessing for you. Oh, I'm blessed watching television. Aren't you tired of the same CSI? Just more murders and more death and more thing and CSI and, and, and this death show and that murder show and this death show. CSI Miami, CSI New York, CSI Puerto Rico. What is that? The Bible says that, read with me. Verse 2 and 3, quickly. Now the name of the firstborn was Joel, the name of the second, Abiah. They were judges in Beersheba. And his sons walked not in his ways or in Samuel's ways, but turned aside after lucre and took bribes and perverted judgment. Have we turned aside? Preachers preaching, but David, David Ray, better known as Lee in the neighborhood. Please over here. I'm, I'm preaching to me. Have we turned aside? Yes. Are we doing it like God, or have we turned aside? Have we turned aside? After what? After money? After money? Hello, Isis. After money? Really? Huh? You stop doing it God's way, you, you, you're doing it because of money? Wow. Huh? Bribes and stuff? Stuff. Those people that know the heavenly kingdom that's waiting for them. Streets of gold and pearly gates. Hallelujah. Come on somebody. Popeye's chicken and Krispy Kreme donuts. That's my heaven. Hello. You think I'm worrying about this? Really? Hello. I'm doing it God's way. I'm doing it God's way. I, ain't go, I don't want to be like the world. Living for money and stuff. God has made us to live above that standard. I came out of that stupidity. I came out of that foolishness. I came out of the mess of living for money. God saved my eyes were open and said, this is nothing. This is not to be compared. This is dung compared. He said, that, I hope I didn't offend you. Uh, this is done. Yes, is. Not to be compared yes. to what shall be revealed yes. in us. Hey, glory. Come on, somebody. People, worldly people. Do business on Saturday night. Can I help you here? Christians go home early to relax. And prepare to meet the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> they prepare on Saturday night. <laughs> uh, they set out their clothes. Not Sunday morning. Where am I going to put on? Oh my God, I'm running late. Pastor's going to. Oh my, where's my shoe? Where? Uh, hair all nappy. Eh? Getting up late. Plan to get up late. Hello? Tired? Come to church to fall asleep. I, have, I went to church. Come to church to sleep. My, 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 my. Ah, that's why I tell the people, push your neighbor in the name of Jesus. Push him. That's to wake him up. Push him. Huh? We don't. That's the world's way. We prepare to meet with the Lord. We eat right. We rest. We got our clothes ready. We get up early and pray about meeting the Lord. Yes. Hello. We put on our best. Yes. Not some old shirt from the dirty clothes, Eddie. I'm ready to serve. Oh, no, you're not. You ain't welcoming nobody here. Hello. Yes. 
I'm not saying Eddie does that. I'm just, I just. <laughs> huh? Selling yourself for position and for possession and for prestige. I saw a movie yesterday, The Proposal, with Sandra Bullock, and she was uh, controlling this young man and made him, obligated him to, to marry her for immigration purpose. She was doing it for immigration, for her prosperity, and he was doing it for a position that she was able to provide. They called Teresa yesterday. Oh, can you meet with us about a business proposal for, for, for your well-being, for your independence, for your in the future? She said, what do you think? I said, you, be, you know, what? You, don't even go there. Don't even go there. We're, with the, we're, we're relaxing to meet with the Lord tomorrow. I'm going to be trying to keep my wife out there at 12 o'clock at night. I don't care if you buy her lobster and, and, and scrimp and, 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 and steak. Okay, none about your scrimp. Keep your fancy whatnot. We are going to meet with the king of king and lord. And the business we're worried about is eternal. Amen. Glorious. We sell out for $100. Huh, I said, is that true? How much? Uh, uh, just sell out for a couple dollars. Oh, no, Pastor. Oh, I'm just telling you. <laughs> they want to be just like the world. I don't want to be like the world. I don't want to be like the world. They perverted judgment. Perverted, not ha, to stretch or spread out by implication to bend away, including moral deflections. Hello? Are we deciding things like God would have us to? Or have we gotten to the place where we said, Who's on the Lord's side? Who's on the... I, I, I declare as for me and my house, <laughs> we will serve the Lord. I don't know what God you're going to serve, but we're going to serve the Lord. We're going to do it God's way. God is trying to get us to the place in our faith, in our walk life, that we will say, I trust God, I do God, I'm not selling out for no money. Uh, it's God's way or the highway. Get the step in full. You see, jo Samuel's sons, Joel and Abihah, they perverted judgment. Not me, Pastor. I won't pervert judgment. Well, maybe not for finances. Maybe for fun and fads. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, like, 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 like when we came and we got, when we were young and we got saved and whatnot, we, we said we don't party like the world parties. Amen. We left worldly music. Or those that haven't leave that worldly music. Get rid of that worldly music. Is that air, air conditioning still on? Hallelujah. I heard like it died. Amen. And we black people sweat, bro. Hello. Amen. I know you white people got those. Don't, don't affect you. Except Margie. We leave the worldly music. We don't get up there with all kind of nasty, you know, uh, lyrics and, 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 you know, and, and voodoo music. Do -do -dum -dum -dum. Wait a minute, that's got like an African beat. Wait a minute, that African beat seems like cultish. Oh my God! You see, the thing is this. They, 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 since Christian music isn't what we want it to be like the world, Christian music is not supposed to be like the world's music. Totally not supposed to. Well, Pastor, music is music. There's an origin to all music. Either it's God's spirit or the demonic spirit or man's spirit. But it's not all the same. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, I know what it is. Now Christian music has become thuggish, sensual, and worldly. Hello, somebody. We got the rap and the rock in the world, and you see them, they're perpetrated. 
Jesus, that's right. And I got the Holy Ghost. Glory. So I, oh yeah, that looks like Jesus and me. That's got Jesus' spirit all on that. That is God all the way. Well, if not, we got the headbanger, Steve, your people. <laughs> <laughs> Got the smoke machines. Loud. Oh, you think we're loud? Ah, oh, it's bleeding out the ears. Yeah, dude. Rock on. In the name of Jesus. It's really rock on. That's God. God, don't worry about that. Oh, yes, He does. Yes, He does. His spirit, his music is solemn music. Can't you tell the difference when it's ministering to your spirit or it's ministering to your flesh? I know the difference. That's my problem. I know the difference. What is God and what is worldly. And the church is going to the world trying to bring their music into the church. God don't need your help. God don't need your music. He got his own. He invented it. That's his stuff. He got this. I mean, we got it in the church. Uh, we got belly dancers in the church now. Come on, somebody. Don't even look at anybody. We got belly dancers. Huh? Perverted. Even our clothing should be perverted with the world styles. Huh? Got a friend. He went, he, he, he went somewhere and he went into the office and they all got scared. That, that everybody in the office got scared because he had his his, his, his his hood rat look on. He had his, his, you know, the jerseys that come up to here and the shorts that come up here. And then some dark eyeglasses. Got tattoos. Yeah, uh, uh, I'm from the church. I'm looking for, remember Brother Man? You ever know Brother Man? Uh, brother Man had gold over her and tattoos of naked women. And one night, yeah, I'm from the church. That's right. What's up, bro? What's up, my native? What you doing? Everybody got to say, security. Security. Get security. That's the world. That's the world. You got to come out from the world. And touch not the unclean. Don't bring it time to sanctify with Jesus. Don't care. Jesus, look at my heart. Really? But man looks at the exterior. Who are you trying to minister to? God or to man? If you're trying to minister to man, slow that down, fool. Okay. Tighten that up. Yes. Be neutral. Pastor David, neutral. I go to places, they don't think I'm a, I'm a pastor, but they don't think I'm a thug. And so when they start preaching to him, I say, uh oh, where did this guy come from? The other day they asked us, are you, what, what are you guys into? Huh? Your party getting high? I said, no, we're Christians. Snuck in on him. He didn't even see that come. You're Christian. Oh, my God. Okay. I'll walk away now. No, no. Now we're talking. Ch church, 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 church. How do you be like? Who do you want to be like? Huh? Look at verse 4. Then all the elders of Israel gathered themselves together and came to Samuel and to Ramah. Verse 5 said unto him, and behold, you are old and your sons walk not on your way. Now make us a king to judge us like all the nations. We want to be like the nations. We want to be like everybody else. We want to be like the world, pastor. Why don't you bring that in? Mm. Do you want to be like everybody else? How are you doing? How are you doing? Do you want to be like everybody else? Do you want to be like the world? How are you doing there lately? You know, because when I came out of the world, Steve, I was just so crazy. That world was so bad and evil and, 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 and messed up in my life. You know what I mean? That when I came out, I don't want nothing to do with it. If it's of the world, I don't want anything to do with it. Not an ounce, not, not, not an eight ball, not a... Nothing. Those that understand me know what I just said. I don't want a six pack. I don't want a bottle of rum. I don't care if it's Puerto Rico from the island. You ever seen the one that has a little anise in there? Got it. I don't. 
Because me drinking, next thing you know, you're drinking, you're drunken. And then you're drunken and then there's violations going on. Huh? Throwing up, running the car into people, fighting, cussing, falling asleep, having sex with the wrong people. Hello? <laughs> huh? Beating people up, rape, sodomy. Hello? Losing your job. Tell me what good things come out of drinking. Huh? Hello? It makes you relax. Try exercise, okay? Amen. Come on. I can't sleep. Read your Bible. I'm nervous. Pray. You'll see you'll fall asleep in a minute. Do you want to be like everyone else? Israel's sin was twofold. Let me hurry up. They wanted their own ways instead of God's ways. Hello? They wanted what they wanted. Number two, the desire for a king was to be like other nations. And that was a work of the flesh, not of the spirit. It would therefore bring what? Untold sorrow. The nation wished to be like the surrounding nations, forgetting that their glory and our glory and happiness consists in being unlike these nations. You know, guys, you know how, how when I got saved, you know how, 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 how I got a lot of girls interested in me? I ain't had no money, so I wanted the money. Uh -huh. And I ain't the best looker there is. Maybe in certain lighting, squinting your eyes, maybe you'll find something good there. Amen. So it ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't Joe Smooth with the fancy words either or whatnot. But you know what they liked? I was different. I wasn't trying to jump their bones. Excuse the vernacular. I wasn't running after them. No, 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 no. When they would try to say, excuse me, no, I go to church. You want to go follow me to church? But we ain't doing no nasty. Hello? That ain't going to happen here. That made me more attractive. Oh, we can't. He don't, oh, and he's not gay. Hello? <laughs> they start chasing you. Huh? Treating me to dinner. Hello? That's right. Back in the day, they thought, oh, you got some money? Then you can't be with me unless you got a J-O-B. Hello? It's the being different. Some Christians want to cut God off to go see the football game. Hello? That's why God made HDRs. <laughs> we enjoy God's game more than the man's game. Come on now. They desired a king. Remember everybody wanted to believe that Obama was the man? I had a t-shirt that had the look of Obama instead of Jesus. Uh, put your trust in me, he used to say. They desired a king who they could see. Uh, though he was feeble, foolish, and dying, man, he was preferred to an, un an, an unseen, almighty king, a king, wise, and eternal God. But not me. Not me. I'm going to keep God. I'm going to keep Jesus. I prefer Jesus. I prefer Jesus. You know, Samuel's sons, they were in the wrong, right? And there was no way to correct the wrong. That the wrong being done in, in Israel, no way. And you don't correct the wrong by doing another wrong. Hello? Just because the church folk do some wrong thing doesn't mean that you do you do it the world's way. Mm -hmm. Guy on, 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 on the phone the other day tells me, oh, you you a pastor? Well, I believe in God, but I don't go to church because you know, there are a bunch of people out there, they say one thing, they, they act one way in church, but they live another way. I say, yeah, 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 that's right, that's right. So you want to hang out with crazy people now. Can I tell you there's a difference between being a church person that has weaknesses and a wicked person. Amen. You can be a wicked person or a weak person. Most people are weak people. They're not wicked. Church people, when they mess up, most of them are just weak. They're not wicked. You don't have to go the world's way because the church is messing up. 
it's old fashioned to uh, it's old fashioned it's not it's, 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 it's not Samuel's sons didn't walk right they didn't tell the truth they didn't go to church right they didn't love God right. They didn't dedicate and consecrate the way. They were hypocritical. They weren't perfect. So we're going to decide to go smoke and drink and hang out. We're going to go gamble and sleep around and, and do what we want to because the church people are not right. I'm going to go and get me one of those hottie, one of those hot girls and one of those uh, 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 um, hot guys uh, because they ain't no good looking men or women in the church. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah, we've heard it. You know you heard it. You know what I'm talking about? That. We're talking about you. Hello. Amen. Since there's no dancing in the Holy Ghost in the church, I'm going to go clubbing. No singing in the spirit, so I'll bring the worldly songs in and, 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 and a whole bunch of emotionalism and hype for the flesh. I've seen praise and worship people want to bring worldly stuff to the house of God. We want to be just like the world. I don't want to be like the world. I'm like Samuel. Verse 6 says, but the thing displeased Samuel. How you living lately? How you living lately? Huh? How you living lately? How you doings? Are you still being displeased? Does unrighteousness still displease you? Does it still get you mad when you see? Does the seal of the Lord consume you and the seal of the Lord performing you something that you got to go out because you can't stand this which what is being proposed as the way to do? I get mad. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna, if you ever see me throw a fit, please don't get offended. I'm just, just, just worldly stuff just get me displeased, and especially in Christians. Stuff like that. When I go to people's houses and they're watching worldly movies, I'm saying, what? are you up to do you know the spirit that lives in you is quenched is grieved and that shouldn't be mentioned not even once watching demon movies now, I don't know about you but I don't want movies to scare me especially in the spirit world I was trying to watch a movie with Teresa there. It was supposed to be PG, whatnot. And, and, and she did, what is it? I said, I don't know what it's about. I'm washing dishes and she's looking at it. And all of a sudden, there's some weirdness going on. And this, this black figure with, with penetrating blue eyes showed up behind the lady. And when she turned, it disappeared. I said, oh, my God. Change that thing. Get that thing off my house. I, well, I was, Lord, I plead the blood. Any demons that we allowed to come into the house by watching that, Lord, get it out of my house. Because that's what you open the door when you do that. They got the right to go into your house now. And you got to chase that wicked demon out of there. Man, I tell you, I said, oh my God. What are these Christians allowing? What, what, why would they allow stuff like that? It displeased Samuel. I'm glad Samuel had that much going for him. We've gotten so old in this now nothing bothers us. Nothing that's of the world, nothing that's sinful, it's okay. We're just not going to say anything about it. God made you the atalaya, the watchman for people's souls. And if they are destroyed because of you are not wanting to, to do it like God, and it affects them and they're hurt, guess what? Their blood, you, it's on your hands. It's on your hands. But they'll stop talking to me. Well, you'd rather see them dead, right? Let's not warn the person. Or like they say, WB, warn a brother. You got to warn a brother. You got to tell. Well, they're going to, I don't know how they're going to take it. They might, they might reject the gospel. They might backslide because of truth. Because of truth. You got to tell them. 
Let's get rid of those idols, get a stick, let's breed them down. I know you guys don't want to offend the Catholics, I know. Hallelujah. This pleased him, and he prayed to the Lord. Verse 7, and the Lord said unto Samuel, hearken unto the voice of the people and all that they say and to do, for they have not rejected you, but they have rejected me, What <laughs> that I should not reign over them. And verse 8 says, so they do also unto you. They reject the God. How, how are you doing? How are you doing? Are, are you rejecting God and God's man? Are you still submitting to God as the Bible says in James 4, 7, submit unto God? Resist the devil and submit unto God? Are you still, are you still submitting to God's pastors and leaders like Hebrews 13, 7 and 17 declares, submit yourself to those that have authority over you, rule over you, those that teach you the ways of God. Submit yourselves unto them. How's your submission lately? How's your submission lately? Do you call in to the pastor when you're not coming to church or you're not going to be at an activity that God has ordained and told the pastor to have? You know, when we do things, it ain't that pastor wants to do it. It's that God told the pastor he wants this done. How's your submission? How, how, how is that thing lately? Are you seeking, are you, are you seeking God's pastors and leaders counsel, their guidance, their insights? Are you seeking the pastor's blessing? Are you seeking his seal of approval? Are you seeking his permission? Ooh, oh yes, I felt that. <laughs> Watch your flesh. Permission. I don't got to ask no pastor for no permission. Ooh, really? Hallelujah. My God. Some church folk slash leaders come and go the way they want to. They just do whatever they want to. Without considering what God or what God leaders say concerning. They don't care. They don't care. Pastors having prayer meeting. I ain't going. Why? I don't want to go. I do me. That's his problem. He want to pray. We don't normally pray. We've never prayed on Monday. I'm not going to pray. That ain't my part of my schedule. I do what I want. Remember when you first got saved, or I believe when you first got saved, you should have gone to where the meetings were and you prayed because it was part of your spiritual diet and well-being and victory and maturing and your discipleship. So you made it to the prayer. Now that you're old... See, the world don't have anyone to submit to. Are you doing it like the world? How you doing lately? Huh? Or you got a speaker on Sunday morning. Don't call him your pastor because you don't even call him. Lisa, you don't even do what he says. Who he think he is? He's just a man just like me. Who do you think he is going to tell me? I got to give an account to him. I go and do what I want. And I'm grown. That's why you got what you got. That's why you got all hell in your life. God gave you gifts. Pastors, apostle, prophet, teacher, evangelist. And you ain't taking advantage of it. Therefore, the edifying of your life. Ooh. How you doing lately? Huh? Are you still listening to God and what he says about that sin, that flesh? Your sin. Hello? <laughs> your sin. Huh? Remember you first got saved? Uh, how you doing lately? Not submitting to God anymore? God, church people don't even submit to God. They do what they want. The Bible says this. I don't care. Let me rip that part of the scripture. Let me, I'm, I'm going to turn to another page. Oh, yeah, go and do what you want. Yeah, I like that verse. Hmm? I didn't like that submission one. I like the one, do what you want, you groan. Where's that? Proverbs. It's in Proverbs somewhere. I heard it. Drink as much as you want. Hallelujah. Look upon the wine when it's red in the cup. It don't say that. It says don't look upon the wine when it's red in the cup. Are you, how you doing lately? Not submitting to his word? Not submitting to his preacher? Is it about the money? 
the job, the position, your kids, who you want to be like, lack of spiritual qualities and qualifications. Prayers not bringing you to God like they should or they used to, remember? Huh? Or is it that you're too old and you got this? I'm just telling not me, not me, not me, not us. We're going to submit to God and we're going to submit to his leaders and we're going to listen to his prophets and we will prosper because of it. Hallelujah. God said this, he says in verse 8, don't worry about it. They didn't, they didn't reject you, they rejected me. And then the Lord says, now therefore, verse 9, hearken unto their voice, how be it yet protest solemnly unto them and show them the manner of the king that shall reign over them. The Lord says, hey, get to the place that you would, you would reveal to them that they understand that although they call it with a different face, it is what it is. It is what it is. Tell them the manner of what it really is. See, 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 you've got to look at yourself and say, where am I lately? Am I doing it God's way or the world's way? Because we can put a different face on it, can we? We call it love, but it's really lust. We call it love, but it's really S-E-X. We call it love, but it's really selfishness. It's indulging of perversions, inordinate affections. That's what it really is. We call it prospering. We call it work, but it really is not worshiping on the Lord's day and on his appointed times. Hello, Eddie. Hello! We call it Prospering, but it's really spiritual apathy, lukewarmness, coldness, and laziness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's what it is. I don't care about. See, see, the world don't care about the things of the spirit. They don't care. How you doing lately? How you, you, how you, you care about the things of the spirit? Do you tell the boss I ain't working on the Lord's day? Wednesday I'm going to church. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, church on Wednesday. You dang skippy, church on Wednesday. We got on Saturday morning too, men and women ministry. Why? Because I'm a Christian. I do it God's way. I do it God's way. <laughs> we call it not having faith. We call it having wisdom not to give to the church because they don't really need it. But it's really ignorance of God's word. It's really greed. It's really being a cheapskate. It's really lack of spirituality because spiritual people give. Amen. Spiritual people don't mind writing out the check. How much is it, Pastor? You need a thousand? Handle God's business. Me and God right here. What do you need? Ten thousand? Get it done. That's my God. That's my Lord. Whatever he said. I mean, I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. I got to go. Hallelujah. We call it independence, but it's really rebellion, disobedience, and self-will. It will cost you. It will rob you of God's intended blessing. God tenderly and, and lovingly treats them and, and, and declares to them the king of your choice six times is repeated it's gonna he will take 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 you know what they said nevertheless give us a king anyway nevertheless give it he's gonna take i don't care give me what i want how are you doing lately are you are you listening to god he sent the man of God to tell you, don't do it like that anymore. Don't do it. Men, come, come quickly up here in the front. Come quickly up here in the front. Quick, 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 quick. Ushers. Ushers. <laughs> 
See, the Lord's communion is a time to to reflect and to see how you're doing lately. It's for you to, thank you, it's for you to search yourself. Go, go and wait upon them. How you doing lately? How you doing lately? How you doing lately? Are you involved in stuff in that phone? You know what, guys? Even to me, YouTube is a trap from the enemy. It'll lead you to one, one uh, um, topic, to another topic, to another topic, and it will bring in trappings. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Anybody can be real with me today. Anybody can call it what it is. Huh? Some people spend hours on the computer wasting God's time, valuable time, which you should be investing in the kingdom of God, and you're just surfing like a, like, like a total dweeb. Pastor, why do you want to call that? Anybody that misspent, the Bible says we must redeem our time and invest in it. I got people spending hours on a computer on foolish information that's not benefiting them at all. That's sin. Remember when you didn't have a computer? I ain't going to look at nobody because everybody got a computer. Let me look over here. Remember when you didn't have a computer? <laughs> got to look this way. Everybody, oh, that's me, Pastor. Remember, I'm talking to myself. I'm right there. Uh, remember you didn't have YouTube? Remember when you didn't have cable? 500 China. Just looking at some stupid, foolish, sinful. I mean, huh? It's trying to bring down, it's trying to bring down your standard, your worldliness. It's trying to bring you into the world.